So now we're going to look at how we can light our exterior shot with HDR Light Studio. So what we're going to do is go to our HDRI and go to our HDR Light Studio connection and then edit and load settings. So that's loaded, you can see that our HDRI has now been replaced. So what we'll do is we'll take our link or our, we'll take our HDRI and we'll add it as a picture background and we'll just delete this gradient background and then we can just load our HDR image so we can find this and we have to go to our find it there it is and then we can just you can either convert it to TX but because the the HDR itself is only 8k we can just open it and then once that's loaded in you can see that now our car has gone back to the way it was you see it has the blur in the back plate and if we turn off our scene plate and make it visible. You can see our HDRI is there. So at the moment, the orientation is not quite right. So what we want to do is just change our longitude to about zero, and then we see now it's back to our the right place. And then what we can do is we turn back on the scene plate, and we can just start adding lights in here. So as before, we can go to our HDR light settings, go to reflection painting and let's say we want to add a little light up in the back here we can say we can add our round light and now you can see we have our round light on the HDRI and you can see it now reflecting the car so we can click on here and we can actually boost the brightness up just so we can see what it's actually doing let's say 500 and now you can see the light is reflecting the car so and what we just want to do here is maybe just Bring that, make that a little bit wider so you get a little bit more around the back. Let's get really wide. And then, of course, we can bring our brightness back down to like uh, maybe 100. And then now you can see we have a little bit light reflecting around there. And let's say we wanted to add some more light around the side, we could then just go into our gradient. And you can see in the light, there's the alpha channel that's there, so you don't get any black reflections. And we can go to our rotation, let's just turn this 180 degrees, and then maybe we can click around here. And yeah, maybe we can just drop the brightness down a little bit. And yeah, we can see we get a little bit more lightness on the side of the car, and we can also play around with the height and the width. Just have a little bit more light on the side of the car, and for example, with the with the sun, if we wanted to uh, play with that, we could actually create a another light, and we can turn these off just so we can see what it's doing, and then you know, we can zoom in to our sun, and then just move our our light towards the sun and then we can play around with the blend mode and say amplify or invert and then we can actually sort of darken the exposure around the sun so that can be nice if parts are a bit overexposed as you can see now it's it's just dropping the exposure around that point there so and, and of course you can feather this out and maybe just play around with the the height and the width and yeah you can play with the gradient and you know adjust that to your needs and you could say maybe just a little bit so it's not too blown out or you know maybe 250 and yeah so it's really versatile and you can you know really edit your HRI and just add more sort of lights and parts that can really help out the car and very quickly so as I said HR lights use very fast and there's a lot of different ways and you can change the lights and you can also even add in like a dark light so you know maybe there are areas here like for example the sun as well this this dark light can just again do something similar but I prefer to use the inverted light set to amplify and you know you can just play around with the brightness here and if there are parts that are a bit too overexposed in your HDRI you can just dull them out really quickly so Maybe we can continue here, adding some lights to a car and maybe 
we could add something along the back of this um, this line here so we can go with our gradient light and again I'll just use the shift click to add it in and then I'll just rotate this actually no you know what I'm going to go with a, a round light and then I'm going to set the set the mode to half and then sort of just place that around bring it down about here and then just change the width bring it right out so now you have like a nice sort of reflection on the back here bringing out the shape of the car and you, know, you can just dial in the numbers to get something that looks good so maybe 125 or maybe you can bring this light down here to about 50 or we could just leave it off I think having this sort of nice little reflection here really brings out the shape of the car and maybe we could actually just move this a little bit to the side or the other side and there you can see it's, it's really nice and we can maybe just bump up the width to push it a little bit more and as you can see it's just like really bringing out the shape of the car and it looks really nice and maybe we could try add some lights for the wheels so we'll shift click again on the wheels and you can see we've got a nice little bit of reflection now in the wheels but of course the downside of this is that you don't have any light link set so uh, these lights you will see you can see it is reflected in the body panel which generally we don't want but I think here it's actually adds a little bit more light to the car so this is looking nice and as you can see the wheels are reflecting really nice now and you know, you can really make a um, lot of nice work with this, just a few lights and to just add uh, a little bit more character to the car and, you know, I think it re looks really nice and that's how you can use HDR Light Studio with your exterior shots. I'll see you in the next one.